Hey everybody, welcome back to Hang With Harv. On today's video, we're going to be adding to our shop organization French cleat wall here, a few tool holders. The main one that you're going to see me build today is this little guy, and it's to hold all of my squares. We're right here at my chop saw station, and at my chop saw station, I'm often marking and squaring wood. So I wanted to make sure I had them close at hand, and they're in close proximity to the bench that I work at, so if I ever need one, I can turn around and grab one real quick. And they're all in easy grasp. So, stick around. Doos and Flieger. A doos and doos and doos and Flieger. What a, what a, what a way to go. One of these days this shop's gonna be cleaned up and I'll have so much room I'll just walk around in here I won't know what to do with myself. I'm gonna be bumping into shit. <laughs> just like Mr. Rogers here. I gotta change out of my crummy dead and I gotta put my hanging with Harv hat on. Gotta have a little product placement, right? <clears throat> Not like anybody's buying anything from me, but that's okay. That's okay, people. I'm just happy to have you here on the hang with Harv. On the Hanging with Harv show. This is a show. Did you not know that? This was a show? Mm hmm. It is. This is where I come. I get my therapy time in. I spend a little quality time away from the, the chitlins. Love. Doesn't everybody need more love? Scrap wood challenge, scrap wood challenge. It's scrap, it's crap, it's firewood. But some of the wood is good. You know what? I've had these Gladstone tools, these squares from Gladstone for quite a while. I actually, uh, I got the first one at uh, one of the woodworking shows in Indianapolis. And... I think I went back or I found their website and I ordered I ordered the others that I didn't get um, just because I like them so much. Now the big question that I have though is if you're going to hang some squares I mean would you not want like all the butt ends to line up maybe? And that's my thought so... Where would this one was here, right? So I'm gonna I'm gonna bring the butt end out and I'm gonna say to right there. That's as far back as I need that to go. Okay, so we'll make each of these individually unique by doing that. They'll all have a specific spot they go. So pretty boy, he's just so pretty. Y'all can't see my dog over here, I don't think, but he's a pretty boy. You pretty boy. Mm -hmm. He's his mama's baby. If my wife were out here right now, I'd be chopped liver. That's just how it is. I don't know how it is in your family, but that is how it is in my family. I is chopped liver when my mama, when his mama is here. Ain't mama around? Mm-hmm. That dog don't want nothing to do with me. Nothing. Tell you right now. Woo, doggy. I'm gonna go ahead and leave that clamp, those clamps on there for just a little bit. Let the glue set up a little bit. And while we're waiting on that, I will get a piece of French cleat cut. You know, do, I, do you need a do you need a piece that goes the whole way? I'm torn, just torn. 
torn, I tell ya! Ooh, doggy. You know I say woo doggy like that all the time? I used to watch the Beverly Hillbillies growing up. That's a fact right there, Jack. I know. There's probably some of you out there don't know who the heck they are. They didn't make a Hollywood movie. They remade it. It's not the same thing though. Oh, Jed Clampett. You can't get you can't get replaced, Jed Clampett, I tell you right now. No sorry, Bob. <clears throat> no sorry, Bob. No sorry, Bob. There's no replacing that there, Jed Clampett theory. No sorry. No sorry, Bob. Well, let's put it up back here and see how it goes, what it looks like. All right, guys. One of the things that I did is I made a tool holder for this giant framing slick or slick, whatever you want to call it. Uh, you may have seen me use it once or twice on, on the, my channel before, but it's too big to go in a drawer where I keep most of my chisels. So I just made this little holder out of a scrap piece of plywood. Uh, I took a 2x4 and cut it down, made a little, uh, I don't know what you want to call it, rabbit there behind there to uh, catch it so that uh, it doesn't, you know, come off the wall and uh, put a, one of those little offcuts of French cleat on it. So it's easy for me to uh, slide it in there and, you know, it, right now, it, it may come off depending on how I take it out of there. So I think one of the things um, that I need to do is make a block that I can put in there as kind of a wedge. Fifth or sixth time's always the charm. Isn't it in your shop too? Right, so I got that in where I want it with that little block wedged in there. Now, when I put this in, and I go to take it out, I don't take the holder with me. I didn't cut any kind of fancy angles or anything. I just kind of made a piece and wedged it in there. So, that's going to hold it just fine. Locks it in place. So, the next thing that I made is, I made this little holder for... Uh, my Japanese saws, I have a set of three of them right now. And I made it for four total. I don't have four. I could leave it empty, but I do have this little little craftsman blade. So I just put that in there. All right, everybody, that's gonna wrap it up for another episode of Hang With Hard. Hope you uh, enjoyed this video. It was uh, another real quick, fast one. Uh, I showed you the holders that I made off camera. And uh, you saw us put together this little holder here uh, for all of the squares. Keeps them right at hand. They're visible. I'll know when one's missing somewhere else in the shop so that I always remember to put stuff back. Well, with that, as always, I want to thank you for hanging with Harv today. We'll catch you on the next video. Take care.